All right, so doing the head gasket on the car, um, and these veins are pretty sticky on the turbo, so it's pretty, uh, it's got a pretty notchy feel to it, and it was over boosting as well. So I'm hoping that was due to just burning coolant, and a just you get the smallest amount of uh, moisture in that in the vein assembly, and it'll gum it up pretty good. So. I'm going to pull this thing apart. First thing we got to do, these two nuts on the actuator and the clip on the actuator arm right here. And then there's five 10 millimeter bolts that go around this housing. So we'll pull those off too and then we can separate the two. So this is just a little a C clip. Make sure you're careful with it. You don't lose it. It can pop off go shooting somewhere and pull that off So go around, get all those all those bolts out, and then we can separate. I'll show you guys that here. Okay, so we're ready to pull these apart. Um, now this turbo isn't really isn't that old. I only have about 10,000 miles on it, so it should come out pretty easy. Uh, if you have an older turbo, something with some miles on it, most likely will be rusted. So I would put some uh, WD-40 or some free all or something in here around this whole housing and that should help free it up and then if you need you can kind of tap on it with like a brass hammer or a, a, a rubber mallet or something you don't want to use a steel hammer so so that's how it comes apart so you can see this side's got some good build up And then this is the vein assembly that we're going to be working on. So you can see it's pretty, pretty dirty in there. Um, and that's probably, well, that is why it's uh, creating such a problem with over boosting and everything. Um, so we'll go ahead and pull this assembly out and then we can clean it all up and put it back together. All right, so we're going to pull this vein assembly out. Um, there's three, let's see, it's a T15 Torx, one, two, three. Um, we'll pull those out, or loosen them. You don't want to pull the actual bolt all the way out. You just want to loosen it until you are sure that the threads are all the way out of the, the bolt all the way out of the threads. And then pull the whole assembly out because there's spacers behind there. You don't want to fall anywhere. Alright, so I took a little closer look and they're actually an Allen, which everyone online said they're supposed to be uh, torques, so I'm not sure what's going on there. So once you have those bolts out, Stick it straight up. Pull this whole assembly out straight up. And these are the spacers. There's three of them on each bolt. All right, so now that we have all that apart, we can go ahead and clean everything up. So I'm just gonna take a brush and some carb cleaner, squirt it in there, brush it up and clean everything up, and then I'll show you guys uh, some of the vein operation. All right, so got everything cleaned up, all the soot and everything off, make sure everything's, make sure all these veins move freely. So, parts you need. 
in case you might have lost something. There's three spacers that go behind the ring. There's three of these. This is actually what they turn on so that sits in between the plate here and then there's three of these pins that hold that in and three of the screws. And then also you want to scrub this up real good. Just take some sandpaper or whatever. Uh, flatten it out, get all the rust or soot, whatever, build up off of there. And then blow everything out with compressed air and we can put it back together. So what I do, is stick the screws in here. And then hold it like that so they don't fall off. This might be kind of hard to film, but so get your Allen wrench ready and just hold this like that so the spacers don't fall off of there Then go ahead, snug them all up. So I would just go just barely tight, just hand tight for now until we get the ring and everything on it. And then what you can do, stand it up. And yours might be a little bit different um, depending on what turbo you have, but this right here is where the lever from the actuator rides. So that has to point towards this little dowel pin hole here. So just stick that in there and then line up all your veins into the plate. Then give it a quick rotate before you do anything else. And then what you can do is kind of hold it, lean it up against your body. I don't know if you guys are really going to see that. Let me try to get it. So what you can do is stick the stick that spacer where the where it goes, lift up the ring slide that in then get your pin and push it in Like that, and then check the, op the operation. Make sure it's smooth, there's no binding at all. So 
so that one should be good to go. So, and now now we can put the other half together. I'll show you guys. You gotta be careful when you set that down. You don't want everything to fall off it. Just take your actuator or something and stick it under this, like that. And then all I did with this is just take a toothbrush and just a little toothbrush here, scrape all the crap off it, and then blow it off with compressed air. And then, so there's the a pin here that aligns with that hole I showed you in the housing. And then when you're putting it together, you got to kind of wiggle the the actuator arm to get that seated in the ring. And one last thing before you forget, go around and tighten all these screws up. You don't need them so tight you're going to break them, but you don't want them falling out. So, And just go around one more time. Okay, so get that pin, get it lined up with this hole here, that lever, kind of got to wiggle it back and forth a little bit. like that and then just work the lever and there shouldn't be any binding at all it should move really smooth so looks like this one's good to go so I'm gonna get those bolts in it and get the actuator back on you should be done all right guys we got single back together so once you get it Make sure that's free and clear. Make sure the veins are still moving smooth. And then one last thing we can do is test the, the operation of the veins with uh, a vacuum pump. So what you want is the lever to start moving at three and be fully seated against the um, stop at like 15 to, yeah, I think it's like 18 to 20. So you just pump it until it hits a lever, and then you can see the gauge there. So, um, and this gauge is from it's actually from Harbor Freight. They're dirt cheap. If you don't want to buy an expensive Mighty Vac, hit your Harbor Freight up. I've never had issues. I use this for. Brake bleeding, uh, clutch bleeding, stuff like this works good too. So, yeah, that thing should be good to go. Let's hope uh, we don't have any more issues with it. So, yeah, hope that guys help. Hope that helped you guys out.